my slogan is help a girl, help a community, or help a girl, help a family. But now we've helped my community. How can we now stretch beyond our community? How do we change the world? And the way to do that, to me, is education. I am Kakenya Ntaya, and this is my dream. Yeah! <laughs> we began with one fourth grade classroom with 30 girls. And every year, we added a new classroom of 40 girls until the Kakenya Center for Excellence became a fourth through eighth grade boarding school. We are now educating 200 girls every year. I am from a rural community in Kenya where some of the Maasai girls walk two to three hours to get to school. That can be very dangerous, especially for girls. We knew we needed a boarding school so that the girls could focus on learning. Empowering a girl is not just putting her in a class. It's really about looking at her holistic life, her life in totality. We give a girl a bright new uniform, bright new shoes, things that they have never seen. And all of a sudden, there's a pride in that I'm dressed well, I have long socks, I have shoes, and then we feed them. He's our chef. They have a meal breakfast, they have a meal lunchtime, they have a meal at dinner. Most kids in our school came from families that didn't have three meals in a day. Having our housing at the school for the staff also helps us attract the very best teachers. Success. So, so. This actually enables the, the teachers to be able to bring their family uh, with them. They're really dedicated to our students and uh, we've been very fortunate. Everything you see in this school has really been support through so many individuals, so many family foundations, so many uh, people who have really come together to put this place. It's an effort of a team that is enabling the girls to try. The facilities in uh, the public schools are very much underwhelming. They are not of good quality. You'll find uh, uh, people sitting on the floor, dusty floor. You'll find uh, ragged blackbirds. So that uh, really interferes with the psychology of learning. There are no facilities to cater for the pupils. But here, they have the role model of Kenya, who always comes here to see them, so they can relate. Like in class, I want to be like her. <laughs> so looking at Benka Kenya being a girls' school, is now doing better than all other schools combined. We have schools that have been here as old as 40 years, and Kenya has not been there for 10 years. I do have an African saying that uh, when you educate a boy, you get fine educate family boy. But when you educate a girl, you end up educating the whole community. The truth is not only in Maasai land, even where I come from, educating a girl child is better, not really better, but it creates a bigger impact on society than in the boy child. But for every girl we are able to take, we have to turn away six or seven. We can't meet the demand for our outreach and training programs. We need support to serve more young people, stretch beyond our community, and to build a new campus. Now we are dreaming even bigger. What we really want to do now and our vision and our goal now is to really build a school that has kindergarten all the way to 12th grade. That's the future that we want to do. We are ready to build a new campus for a K-312 boarding school and a health clinic for all the children in the community. We found the spot, we bought the land, and every time I walk on it, I can see the vision in my mind and the impact it's going to have. <laughs> we already have architects working on a sustainable design for the facility. The site itself provides 90% of what we need. In terms of trying to, to 
create a building that is a role model. We're really taking the lead from Kikinia. A lot of what she's trying to do with the education of the girls and the education system here is meant to be a model. It's more about giving than it is about taking. It's not just enough to be the best in one school. How do we take what we've learned here and share? A school that produces its own energy, collects its own water, and processes its own water, makes a lot of its own food, uh, is built with a totally sustainable palette of materials. That's a model school that, that would be world class in Kenya or in Washington or in Switzerland. And so I really do believe in my heart that this building here will be one of the most sophisticated schools in the world. Through our health and leadership training program that we take into the schools in different parts of the community, we have trained over 8,000 boys and girls on very critical, important issues, human rights, female genital cutting, uh, role modeling, telling kids that you have rights and you should be in school. <laughs> Those conversations, it's critical that it happens uh, at that level for both boys and girls. You have to bring them along, you have to bring the fathers along, you have to bring the mothers along. It's not just a one angle. To empower girls, you need a whole community together. A highlight of the girls' training is self-defense. We talk about your rights, we talk about if somebody raped you on your way to school, where do you go? Um, I mean, we really empower the kids. This is a day-to-day -day thing, it is happening, and we couldn't shy off. Yes! The biggest challenge that I face is taking our girls to high school. They do really well, but there are very few high schools in this country and good performing schools. And so we've set our girls' expectations so high and then they have to travel literally eight hours, nine hours to go find a school. And high school is really where you shape the future of a girl. It's really where she starts realizing what is my potential? What is my role in the society? My girls always dream that dream. They want to be lawyers, they want to be doctors, they want to be nurses, they want to be whatever they want to be. My goal is really, and our goal is really, to create opportunities and enable them to be the, the who they want to be. Our Network for Excellence has provided over 100 high school girls mentorship, career counseling, scholarships, and support in applying to universities worldwide. We are ready to keep expanding our programs to help more young people reach their dreams. <laughs> the most important single demographic on planet Earth is young African women, because that's where the bulk of the population's growth is going to come from. I mean, this isn't about just taking girls out of early childhood marriage. This is literally about producing more Kakenyas. That's what the world needs. Every step of the way, I have been helped by people who believed in the power of education. Kakenya's dream will empower more girls and transform more communities. Together, we can create a better future for all of Kenya. <laughs>